Happy Sunday, welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on the vlog, you guys know that I've been working on my living room. And today was supposed to be the day that I revealed it, but sometimes good things take a little bit of time and I really want this space to be quote unquote perfect. I'm doing lots of DIYs, I'm changing a lot. So I wanna take a little more time with it so you will see that video next weekend. So in place of the living room makeover, two days ago I posted that I had turned these kind of not so cute ugly glass faces into ceramic like using paint and baking soda. It was midnight, I just wanted to try this out. On Instagram, I got flooded with DMs. You guys loved this. You're like, where's the video? Where's the video? Where's the tutorial? Using baking soda or baking powder or even cornstarch and other materials to change the consistency of paint isn't really a new idea, but I've been so incredibly inspired by two people especially doing this technique. Their homes are beautiful. If you haven't checked out Christine over on For The Home or Geneva, they've both done different techniques to make glass faces or ceramic faces into this ceramic like using different additives to the paint. So I thought it would be fun to not only go to the thrift store, but also try all the different techniques, find the colors that we like. So we are doing a huge experiment today. We're gonna be doing baking soda with paint. We're gonna be doing baking powder, maybe cornstarch. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into that a little more. We're gonna do lots of different colors and then also different paints. So let's head to the thrift store. I wanna find some cool shapes, but ugly vases, but cool shapes at a great price. And then we're gonna get started. at the thrift store. Welcome to my lab. This is gonna be a huge experiment. So first we're gonna try out all of the different materials of vases. We have smooth glass, we have etched or textured glass, ceramic, and we also have tin, which is this farmhouse. It's pretty scratched up. It's cute, but it's pretty scratched up, so it could have like a more modern farmhouse vibe, so I'm curious to see that. We're also gonna be testing out baking soda, baking powder, and cornstarch. And then for our third experiment, we're gonna be testing acrylic latex paint that you would get at the hardware store. Also the acrylic paint that you can get in the small tubes at like Michael's or Joann's. We're gonna definitely start with baking soda. That is what I did the other vases in and you loved it. And you also really liked the color and I made my own color. <laughs> so I wanna show you the color that I made. We're gonna need nomadic desert paint from Sherwin-Williams. Also white gallery and this is Valspar. Most of us have baking soda soda and some random paint left over from a room that you did and probably something that's not too cute that you want to put it on. <laughs> so this one that we're gonna do first is ceramic. The ones that I did were both glass. So a little bit of a different material. So let's see what happens. So we don't need tons because it does go a long way. And then I'm gonna add not quite that much, maybe like three quarters of that much in white. Okay, we're gonna mix the colors together first. If you're making your own colors, mix, make the color first that you like, and then put the additives. So put this baking soda or baking powder. That's what I would recommend. I added lots of baking soda, so I did equal portions. Let's start there and mix it up. You're looking for it to make kind of a paste. It's gonna make it thicker, and then when it dries, it dries a little rough. It's like, a paste. You see that? Ready, set, go. It's 
face also has a little bit of texture on it too. You can kind of see it even more than when it was the other color, which is cool. On the other ones, I did two coats, and I for sure think that I'm gonna have to do two coats on this one too. Also going to do the inside. Once I went around twice and gave it two coats, I like to let it dry just a few minutes and then go back with a dryer brush and kind of wipe it. I felt like this made it look a little more textured because I was dragging the paint that was still wet to other places, but it, it works. So just use the same brush. Just don't re-dip it into the paint mixture. Just do it a little bit dry. For the next one, I wanna try the same colors, but I wanna try it with baking powder instead so that we could see if it's less grainy, which I imagine it's going to be, because I think soda is a little more gritty. I don't know, we won't know until we try. Uh, this is double acting baking powder, and I'm not sure if that makes a difference. Maybe this guy, we could also see if the etching in the glass is gonna show up. Okay, so same color mixture. We're gonna do Nomadic Desert. We don't need very much this time. White gallery. Mix that together. Baking powder this time. I don't know about even, well, we're going for it. Let's do equal parts. Okay, so it's mixing pretty similar, I feel. It's actually looking like fluffy. So the soda was definitely a little more um, liquid-like. Oh, it's so weird and fluffy. It looks like icing. So it definitely goes on thicker and that may be, we could also try it with not as much baking powder. And I feel like I have to keep mixing the powder. So maybe I did use too much. I'm not liking the powder quite as much. It's kind of drying out. Is that weird? Oh, it's becoming like super thick. <gasps> okay. Um, so if you're going to do powder, it might be, look at this. It might be the amount of powder that I use, but it's definitely reacting and definitely drying really fast. Look, it's like a mud now, and it's not even sticking anymore. Ew! I'm not liking the powder. I mixed up some more. I'm gonna go with less baking powder this time, like a, a little bit amount for my... And we're gonna do this fast, because I feel like over time it kind of thickened up. Consistency you can see now is much different. Like this is the second batch. This was the first batch, how it looked over time. Oh my gosh, it's thickening up already. <gasps> so it definitely has like a reaction. You gotta eat it on there fast. Next, I have a can of this chalkboard paint. <laughs> so why, why not try it? I feel like he wants to be chalkboard paint. I'm gonna stay away from the baking powder at the moment. We're gonna do baking soda with this one just to see what the chalkboard paint. Okay, a little bit of. Whoa, that was a lot. All right, fine. Good thing we have plenty. That's good, okay? Mix it up. It's a good consistency. It's kind of like frothy almost. First thing I'm noticing about chalkboard paint is it is thicker. It doesn't need two coats. So since it's so thick, it's actually going on really well. Definitely a win for chalkboard paint. Next up, we are gonna try cornstarch and household paint. So I have this green color, which is super pretty. Blue-based green. Cornstarch is kind of scaring me because uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna do. And I don't know if I need to heat it because everyone has conflicting things online. I'm gonna go with a little bit, you guys. I'm gonna go with, is that too much? Oh, I'm scared. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, it's getting a little thicker. It's like Mardi Gras colors. See, this is just thicker paint, I feel like. This doesn't have any grain or any grit in it. Let's add, try adding some more. Changing the consistency in terms of thickness, but it's not changing the consistency in terms of like texture, I feel. Next, I really wanna try tin and acrylic paint that you can buy at like the craft store. This color is folk art and it's steel gray. I felt like it was a little farmhouse. I'm finding that I like baking soda the most. 
definitely if you're gonna do baking soda, more is better, I feel, because I like a lot of texture, so I wanna feel the grain as I'm brushing it on. I can feel it slightly rough. Definitely two coats on tin. Acrylic paint from the craft store doesn't go quite as far as just paint from the home improvement store. It's thicker. Other than that, I feel like it's about the same. I really do wanna try a textured one. And this one is really dimply, really textured. And I'm curious to see if the texture is going to show. So let's use the Goodwin Green, but I wanna make it darker. So I'm gonna mix it with some chalkboard paint i think a little goes a long way so we're gonna add a very small amount of black and then go from there just a little bit oh that was so bad. okay well that was a lot more than i wanted to yeah a little goes a long way let's go for it we're gonna have to get in those holes i didn't think about that with something like this that's really heavily textured it's kind of hard it's, you kind of have to like stab at it and you need a lot of paint. Kind of looks like a baby dinosaur egg. <laughs> Something that's like this textured, you're not gonna see a lot of the texture that the baking soda is actually gonna give a piece. So like, is it worth it? Is it just like we're painting it with kind of rough paint? Probably. Final, final review. If you have vases or even a lamp at home that you're gonna be using, of course, just use whatever you have. But if you're gonna head out to the thrift store and actually search for a vase to do this technique on, I would definitely recommend a shape of vase that you like that is either smooth glass and ceramic or has a very light texture. Versus glass versus ceramic, I would actually recommend glass more. And it doesn't take as many coats because you're not trying to cover up a weird color. In terms of paint to use, I, they were all pretty good. Top choice would be going to the hardware store and just getting use some 100% acrylic latex paint. And finally, for our additives, by far and away, I recommend baking soda. While the others are drying, I'm just gonna make some other pretty options. And then we're gonna check out how they turned out. Here are the two, the two experiments that didn't go well. This one is the baking powder. I just messed up by putting way too much baking powder. Baking soda, but just with such heavy texture, it was almost impossible to get into all of that texture, so. But now for the non-fails. And the bronze is like to die for. I love. I hope you guys enjoyed this huge ceramic like experiment and it kind of gave you some ideas. Such a simple, such a cool process. You have to, have to, have to try it. I, like it's giving me life, you guys. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, definitely hit the like button below. It helps the channel so much. And if you are not already subscribed, I would love for you to join our family. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload every Sunday here on the main channel. And if you aren't already subscribed to the vlogs where I give you guys a sneak peek of what projects I'm working on, a behind the scenes, check out Exo McKenna Vlogs and subscribe over there as well for just more content. So I hope you guys have a great week and don't forget to check out the living room makeover next week. I promise, next week. <laughs> it's coming. Bye, guys. Look at this precious baby. Are you gonna say hi? Are you giving them a sneak peek of the pillow? How am I gonna move it <laughs> to move on?